Alright, we'll deal with that. Hi friends, Potomaki again. So I've got a quick video for you guys. As you know, I have the Pioneer XDJ-1000 Mark 1s. It's basically a CDJ-2000 in most respects. Just some features were taken away. One of the features that I wish that they didn't take away was a jog wheel tension adjust. Now, the jog wheels feel fine, you know, right out the box, but for me, I kind of like it a little bit tighter. It's a little too loose for my liking. So it turns out there is a tension adjust on the XDJ-1000s, but instead of having an external dial, you'll have to take the equipment apart. So let's go ahead and hop inside one of these bad boys and see what we got. Again, I have the XDJ-1000 Mark 1s. On a normal CDJ-2000 or even the newer controllers coming out, your tension adjust would be right here. It would be like a small little dial. Uh, depending on how you have it, you can either make the jog wheel feel a little bit more tight or a little bit more loose. As far as the jog wheel feel, they feel all right. I personally like it a little bit tighter, just because when I'm making adjustments to my mixing, I feel like I could get a little bit more accurate. I'm gonna go ahead and spin the jog wheel here, and we'll take a listen to see how long it takes for it to come to a complete stop. Normally that doesn't sound too bad. If I were to do that up top, so that way you can kind of give it a better listen if there's actual sound. As I made mention again, for me this is just a little bit too loose for my liking, so let's go ahead and pop this open and see how we can make that adjustment. Now that we have this turned over, there are a few places that we're going to have to remove screws from. You're going to have to remove them from the feet here, and on some of these, there's actually two screws, so be mindful of that. If I were to pull this forward here, there's another screw in there for reinforcement. Lastly, there's going to be three screws back here that you're gonna have to remove as well. So now that we have the screws removed, I'm gonna go ahead and carefully remove the top portion of my XDJ. I'm gonna keep my deck saver on to protect the front part of this, especially the touch screen. Now that we have the player opened up, we'll see that the only thing connecting these two halves is this strip right here. Be careful not to damage that, otherwise you're pretty much screwed. Now what we're looking for is going to be this little cog thing right here. This is going to be the internal tension adjust for your jog wheel. And by default, it looks like it's set to negative one. So in order to adjust this, we're going to have to unscrew that and then set it accordingly. Look at it from the side, you'll notice that it's in varying levels. Now what that does is that that's gonna be applied to the spring that's right here. Based on what level you choose on this, that's gonna apply pressure on the little spring there, and that's where your tension is actually gonna be coming from. Like I said, the default on this was set to negative one, and I like it slightly tighter, so I'm gonna go ahead and set it to positive one. So let's go ahead and get that back on there. All right, so here we are again with the overhead view, and we're gonna go ahead and do a quick sound comparison between the two jog wheels. This one here, we did not adjust. This is gonna be the standard default, which was negative one. This is the one that we adjusted here, and we set that to positive one. I'm gonna go ahead and give this a good spin, and we're going to see how long it takes for it to stop. Default and adjust it. Now if we're to go ahead and apply sound to it so that we can hear the difference. Again, I'm gonna go ahead and do a little bit of a backspin on here. Default. Adjusted. So that is a little bit tighter. Just the movement of the jog wheel itself feels a little bit better. I feel like I have better precision on it for me personally. And there you have it, ladies and gents. That's how you set your tension adjust on the jog wheels for the XDJ players. Now, I know it does suck that you don't have your radial dial like you normally would on a CDJ, but at least now you know you have a method of doing so in case you have to. Anyway, I think that's it, and yeah, hope you enjoyed that, hope it was helpful, and we'll see you next time. Deuces.